Hey, in this video we're talking about Old Town Arvada and this is an area that if you look on the map, it looks like it's in the burbs, but it's definitely not. Denver uh, connected the light rail over here and it's been blowing up since. It's got awesome restaurants and boutique shops. So if you're into that and you want to learn more, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Sean Murphy, team leader of the Moxie Denver team at Keller Williams Realty, and I love making videos about what it's like to live in the greater Denver metro area. So if you're into that and you wanna stay up to date on the videos that we put out, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified each time that we put up a new video. All right, Old Town Arvada. This is a cool little area for sure, and today accompanying me is Clara McGonagall. Uh, she is a realtor, she's adorable, yes. <laughs> and she bought her first home in Old Town Arvada area, and so she's gonna be helping us out, telling us why she loves living in this area. Yes, I am, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about housing in Old Town Arvada. Right inside of Old Town Arvada, there's really not a whole lot for you, um, but right around the perimeter, you're gonna find a bunch of housing. A lot of it's gonna be single family detached homes, ranch style, nice brick, solid built homes, mm -hmm. about 2,000 square feet, three, three to five bedrooms, mm -hmm. and what are we looking at as far as pricing? Like four? 469 is the average, mm -hmm. is it roughly. Um, and that's still affordable in Denver. That is, so I know. Go it quickly. is, isn't it? Claire, tell the people where they are. Right now, we are walking um, north down uh, Old Wadsworth, which is the main drag of um, Old Town Arvada. Okay. And what are the borders to? So, if you think about, we have um, to the east, we have uh, Wadsworth, yep. which is like a great connector just straight into Denver and 70. Mm -hmm. um, Hello. Hi! Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we have Ralston, um, that is the parameter of Old Town that goes over to Yukon, right? Yep. Yukon is east. To Yukon. Yeah. Right. So, but really, most of the businesses of Old Town are going to be on this main drag that we're on on Old Walk. Yeah. This is yeah. like the place to yeah. go to chill. Totally. Yeah. Um, and the parameters of Old Town aren't that big. Uh, most people are going to, you know, live on the outskirts of Old Town, but be able to maybe walk here or at least right. bike here. Um, I think the neighborhood's like busting. With I said, like Old Town's like busting with restaurants and cool places 100 it's like technically you got the borders but there's every all kinds of places on the fringe yep. that you can go to yep um this is like where i'm always gonna start if i'm going out in old town this is denver beer co um and it's really just like at the end of old wadsworth where everything begins okay. or be, i guess we can say the start of old wadsworth where okay. everything starts um <laughs> They just extended their patio. You can see how big it is. So it's really awesome because you literally can get a table at any time. Um, they have a really fun like burger bar. It looks like it's a, a van, <laughs> but okay. it's permanently in there. So they have uh, burgers. You can do veggie burgers, french fries. All right, let's talk about, all right, so let's talk about transportation. So you live in Old, Old Town, Nevada. Um, you need a car in this area though, right? I mean, I guess that is all perspective, right? Because okay. there's the RTD, it's the G line, okay. um, which takes you straight into Denver. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Wheat Ridge line, Arvada line, because it goes from Denver to Wheat Ridge to Arvada. Okay. Um, you know, I, I would say even if you lived a couple miles outside of town, you could easily bike to the RTD. I do that often. Yep. So or, if you work downtown, easy. Easy, easy commute. commute, yeah. yeah. Um, or I guess you could drive and park your car, but I typically bike. Um, my favorite thing is telling guests that come to town, just take the train into Old Town, I'll pick you up so I don't have to drive to the airport. It's, mm. I think that's one of the beautiful things about it. So this is totally vegan, um, which I think is fun to have that option for people because you don't have a lot of those um, What's it called? around. It's called um, That's So Radish. Yeah. And Wait. even like their menus are in like an old 80s movie. That's cool. Container. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. um, we're at Arvada Tavern. This is probably one of my favorite spots. Uh, that's the one that has like a, it's a great date spot. Let's say it like that. It has kind of lower lighting. Um, right now, obviously the patio is extended, 
but they do really fancy cocktails and their bartenders are like top notch. The army surplus is amazing. So you can get hiking boots in there, um, camping gear, and then a plethora of other things that you want to imagine you could buy. But it's, it's been there forever, I think. Get it on the cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try to have had a first home. Why'd you buy it around here? Yeah, great question. Um, when I first moved to Colorado, I lived in Arvada. Um, and had kind of, yeah, four years ago, and I had a desire to explore the city, which I did, and I lived in the city for a while, um, which was wonderful, but when it came down to purchasing um, what I could get here for um, the amount of money I wanted to spend was much bigger, right. and I kind of felt like it was a suburb area of Denver that was accessible to the city, because I drive all the time, and had a downtown like this where yeah. I could like meet friends because I didn't want to feel like, I'm 30, I didn't want to feel like I was like dying in the suburbs yet, right? Yeah. right. So, Arvada totally. gives you kind of that vibe. It's like I can meet friends down here. And a lot of my friends started to move here too um, for the same reason. This is another vegan restaurant. Urban Beats. Yeah, Urban this, is, Beats. this one's really Beating fun. The, the owners are local, it's the couple that owns it. They live right around the corner. Um, they're huge fish heads and Grateful Dead. Heads. And so when you go inside, there's like a bunch of show posters and they're always playing like some fun jam music. And you can see they have a live music on Friday and Saturdays, I guess on Thursdays too. Yeah. Yeah. Their food's really good and they're really sweet. They'll give you a shot of tequila if you go talk to them because that's what they typically do with me. Cool. Yeah. Or, or Homegrown is um, owned by a local company, so they're just totally Colorado based. Um, they're actually the same owners of Park Burger. Have you been around to Park Burger at all I like in Denver? Park Before I yeah. became vegetarian. Yeah, right? Park it's burger. a little easier. Yeah. But they have a good veggie burgers too. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to hit it though. Well, this this particular place specializes in pizza. Yeah. Um, and it's really fun vibe in there. They have like a old ski lifts in some of their chairs. Uh, so it's like a fun funky vibe. I don't remember, I don't think Smoke and Fins was open when I first moved here. But um, I always got really good feedback and I went there for the first time last week on a Sunday. It was buy one, get one free drink. I got martinis. It was a little bit dangerous to do that with buy one, get one free. <laughs> but yeah, no, it has great seafood. All you can eat crab legs on Sundays. I saw that sign, which seems really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and again, like everything's right here. Like you take a look, like this strip right here totally is awesome. Close. Totally, it closed off. But we hope they keep it like that. Doesn't it feel like a festival vibe? It's super it fun. That yeah. is, that's exactly yeah. it. Like, I think it's, I really like enjoy coming out with my friends and we'll stop by a couple places and have drinks and then we'll also just be like, do you guys just want to get a to-go beer and, and drink it on the road? Which is fun, you know, we could do that. So we are right now on the south side of, of Old Town. Old Town. Yeah. Which is right by the light rail, right? Yeah, it's right behind us. And when you're talking about like, easy to like jump on the highways and get around the city like you got 70 that goes right there yeah and that'll take you to 25 east downtown. or west yeah so you can also get on to golden so quickly too yep and 70 is the main highway that people take to get to the mountains so yep. super easy you avoid all the bullshit on yep. on the highway of 25 and 6th avenue get to the mountains so great point that is another reason i chose arvada because the access to the mountains is so much easier mm -hmm. um so like I love to take, like you can take, go all the way west of Arvada, like down 72nd and hit um, even like Highway 93, you know? Yeah. And like I'll take Cold Creek Canyon up to the mountains and you don't have to get on any major um, highway really for that. So I do think accessibility to the mountains is a huge reason people choose this. Totally. I, this is the only ice cream shop in Old Town. It's delicious. Um, it's got a real funky vibe. Is it, is it good because it's delicious or because it's the only place in Old Town? Well, just because it's ice cream, I think. Okay, fair. <laughs> I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Uh, we're not saying it's the best ice cream in the city, but it's good ice cream in our I don't know. Some might, some might argue that. Also, there's just like a lot of fun candy in there, like original things you wouldn't find anywhere else. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The other real estate option in the area are condos. So there aren't really any townhomes in here and uh, single family detached homes out 
number of condos, uh, about three to one. But you can't get a condo in the area. It's typically a two bedroom or one to two bathroom. And then um, it's you're looking at around 335,000. And it's gonna be cute though. It's gonna be cute and it's gonna be super walkable in this area, which that's that's really what you're looking for. This is a again an affordable area to live for uh, homes and condos and then you just get this great downtown vibe. The bluegrass bar is probably one of my favorites because it's a, a coffee bar by morning and then turns into like a bourbon bar by night. Um, and often they'll have like um, solo ac acoustic music or maybe just a couple people, nothing too loud, but they have a really awesome outdoor seating area too, which is like communal picnic tables. Obviously right now, not exactly the same, but it's a nice a nice spot to meet friends. Now we're just coming to the east side of Old Town. And so basically it kind of cuts off and turns into Wadsworth, which goes and flows into the city. See that building right down there? Yeah. That is the Purina building, right? Am I right? Oh, all the way over there? Is sure. The... Yeah, because that's East Denver. Yeah, yeah that makes so, so much that's sense. that's where I-70 is, and that's when you drive by and you smell dog food. Yeah. I like to think of the parameters of Arvada like it's, it's really long. Um, so the east side starts like at, I like to think about it at like Sheridan. Yeah, but okay. but It, it does really... start at Sheridan. All right. And then goes all the way across to Golden. And that's where you get, if you go, when once you go east, you get more like, you have Costco over there, you have like Chipotle, you have more like yeah. commercial but type even, places yeah. over you, there. Yeah, it does get a little more commercial, but that's more um, north of Arvada, if that makes sense. North yes. Arvada, east Arvada bleeds into Sheridan. Um, and then you can go all the way up to 100th. These are just the perimeters of Arvada in general. And then um, if you think about west, it goes all the way to 93, Highway 93, which bleeds into Golden. So oh, Highway 93. Yeah, so, yeah okay. so a lot of people, like if you think about living in Arvada, you can have those mountain views, but also be kind of close enough to the city or to access to the mountains. So you kind of get best of both worlds. Love it. If you're liking these videos and like the information that they're giving you, make sure that you like their videos. Give them a like, come on. Help spread the love, y'all. Help spread the love. <laughs> so right now we're on Yukon, and if we think about going. So this is like the, pretty much like the north west corner yeah. of, of the downtown yeah. area. Yeah, and if you think about going further west, it gets more residential from, it is residential from here. However, a very desirable area because it's so walkable to Old Town. Um, you don't see a lot of active listings coming up. Thank really, you. really cute houses though. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they go very, very quickly. A couple days um, for sure. All right, so hey, that is Old Town Arvada. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're hit notified the bell. each time that we upload a new <laughs> video. Here with my lovely assistant, Clara McGonkel, and we are real estate agents in the area. Happy to help you out. Find the perfect neighborhood, the perfect spot for you. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we are happy to help you out. Yes.